Hi everyone. I am at this really interesting place that used to be called the Judgment Seat in Vatican City. And I came here once before in 2019 and um, it was something that, you know, something drew me here. I don't know what it was. And then I found that the Leonardo da Vinci Museum is right over there. So I'm gonna go over and say hello to the owner who I met then and I really liked. And um, this is before I did my first decryption of any of the Leonardo da Vinci work, which was really only starting in May of 2019. Uh, I, after I left here, I ended up decrypting Vitruvian Man. And it was fascinating. I came here to give a speech at the Human uh, Humanity 2.0 conference. And, um, and here I am again, and I'm here tonight. I'm gonna be having a dinner with the uh, well, the Pope will be in attendance for that, and I'm excited to, to be here for this. But first, there's a bit of a classical music concert, and I'm just outside it right now. This is probably the place where Peter was crucified, right in the center of that. Right, you see that Rosicrucian cross of the, uh, it's a, basically a, uh, called a Plantagenet Rose, or it's also the Tudor Rose. And um, this is probably the place that was the actual judgment seat uh, where Peter was imprisoned, and um, there are catacombs underneath this building as well. I'm going to go see if I can go say hi to the to the owner of the Da Vinci Museum before they start this. <sighs> Hopefully, I won't be late. I'll just walk down here, so I'm going to let you guys experience this with me firsthand. Here we go. Pretty big place. Uh, let's see if I can turn around. There we go. So of course they believe that Peter was was killed, uh, and he was crucified upside down in about 67 A.D. Right here, I believe at this spot. But of course, they like to say that it's where the Basilica of Sicily. Oh, the building of this one? No, of the, of the store. Uh, this one, it's the, the Leonardo da Vinci. It's Augusto. Augusto, that's yes. right. Mm -hmm. Augusto, and he's there? It's outside, but it's, I don't know where. He's, he's not in the building? No, I don't know. Augusto, where are you? Ah, okay. You go to the room. Hmm? Oh, he went to the home already. Okay, well, I missed him then. Oh, you are so... I remember you. Yes? Yeah, oh, yeah. So, fantastic. <laughs> yes, good to see you again. Oh, you? Yeah, what a, oh, what a great... That's you have a friend. great I memory. <laughs> wow, it's such a pleasure to see you. the most incredible persons of the United States. Oh, oh yeah. thank you so much. You're too kind. No, I, I just wanted to see Augusto and say hello and say hello to you as well. It's been a few years, yeah, and I w have you been following my work on, on Instagram? Uh, yes. That's fantastic. Many things there. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, that's how I discovered afterwards mm -hmm. what kind of a person you are, because when you were here, we didn't know, and uh, then after I was like, ah, but he's the guy, look what he is doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm on Instagram right now, oh. and uh, yes, it's pretty funny, right? Yes, I'm on Instagram right now. Say hello yes, to everyone on Instagram. Yes. My is my shirt. That's right. If you haven't been yet to Rome, if you do come, you have to come and visit this museum. And the catacombs underneath are really interesting as well. And um, I had a really fascinating conversation with Augusto. And actually, this is what they look like. There's a section of it you can kind of see where it's got water in it also. right down there. So if we walk down, I could show you, but uh, I don't have time to do that. You can see all these cool geometric forms on the ceiling. I came here, these are not actually for sale. And I came here last time I was here and I said, how much to buy all these geometric forms? All of them. <laughs> and, and he says, they're not for sale. And I said, well, everything has a price. And uh, next thing I know, they all got sent to my, uh, to my office in, in California. 
which was really cool. I need this, uh, I think I need this thing somewhere in my house too. This uh, looks like a parachute that's like a square shaped parachute. Um, fascinating, definitely fascinating stuff. I just love coming to this museum and seeing all the cool stuff that's here. If you haven't come, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. But uh, what a surprise. Thank you so much. Oh, she's calling Augusto. Okay. Oh, wow. That's so funny. What a small world. You never know what impact you're going to have when you meet people. You literally never know. Oh, wait, here he is. Augusto. <laughs> what a small world. I'm here for the big event upstairs. Yes. Okay. Such a you? pleasure. Oh, oh my cool. gosh. Such a great pleasure hey. to see you again. Hi, yes. So this is the owner of all the Leonardo da Vinci museums. And um, I came here a few years ago. Yeah. I never decrypted anything at that no. time yeah. until after seeing you. Yes. And the next week, then I decrypted the, the Vitruvian Man. Okay. Right? And I don't know if you saw, I have a television show now yes. about all of it. Uh, yes. It's crazy, right? It's, crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. It's everything okay, you? Everything is okay. Everything is okay. And I was just explaining to everybody here that I believe that this was probably the location of where Petro, Petro yeah. yes, was actually probably crucified. This, I don't know. Because it was the judgment seat. This place mm -hmm. was the judgment location for many, many years. I, I went back and read the history and everything okay. on this particular building. It's a fantastic building. It's a fantastic building. Uh, but, but this location was also the judgment seat for the Roman times and everything coming through. Yeah. And so um, probably it was yeah, also the yeah, prison. Yeah. It was yeah, the prison, yeah. right? Yes, the Napoleon too. Napoleon was here as of well. Course. Really? Uh, yeah, yeah. In this too. Up there, he stayed for one week here. Really? Yeah. What was he doing here? I don't know, but he stayed one week here. I, he's, uh, maybe when uh, he's coming in Rome. He came to here? Exactly. That's fascinating. Yeah. Because Napoleon also had another interesting connection. Hmm. Right? You know, Napoleon spent the night in the Great Pyramid. Ah, I don't know. Yes. And he spent the night in the Great Pyramid. And before the time he spent the night in the Pyramid, he never did mathematics. And then after he spent the night in the Pyramid, two things happened. He didn't want to make any more conquering, right? He wanted to stop the conquering. And so he won the battles in Palestine and basically got control of, uh, of Lower Egypt. But then he didn't want to conquer anymore. Okay. He wanted only to pursue mathematics, Fantastic. which is interesting. Maybe. Because it's a, kind of a similar path. He wanted to go into science and he didn't want to be making wars anymore. And the same thing happened also with Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar, yeah. He spent the night in the Great Pyramid. And afterwards, you know, he had his son, Caesarian, with Cleopatra. Then he went back to Italy and he didn't want to be any more conquering. Oh, which is part of the reason why they killed him. Exactly. Because they were making money off of him being a conqueror. Right, a successful conqueror. So it's fascinating. So I believe that this was probably the spot where Peter was actually crucified upside down. Whoa. I've been to Peter's house in, uh, in Israel, uh. right, which is in a place called Capernaum. Mm -hmm. And it has uh, three buildings that are inside each other, shape of octagon. So they're uh. octagonal shapes, yeah. three buildings, 888. And right next to his house is a big courtyard like this with a large peacock mosaic okay. and flower of life everywhere Very you know the same flower of life of da vinci's flower yeah, of life flower as well da life, yeah. that's right that's right so how is business with it's i was just telling well. everyone they need well. to come to your place Thank because you it's the best it's very well and uh, the flower example mm -hmm. is uh, put uh, in the desk downstairs mm -hmm. all uh, the design the flower the Leonardo da Vinci with explaining or uh, with the tab mm -hmm. the, with the iPad sorry mm -hmm. uh, you possible study all the uh, anatomy and the nature of the, the Leonardo da Vinci this is uh, for end of year is I put the downstairs more mm -hmm. more 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 information for this uh, area mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. uh, explained very well mm -hmm. so now I have more information for anatomy and the nature. The oh, so there's the, new stuff downstairs. Yeah, the new, the nature, the flower, 
all these. Uh, wow. They studied the Leonardo. Can we go look at it real quick? Of course. I want to see this before I. No, but uh, it's uh, for uh, next year, uh, end, the mo- end the oh, year. Oh, okay. He study only now. Mm-hmm. All the. What do you think? You know, a lot of people think that the Leonardo da Vinci he's bicycle not, not is fake. It's not Leonardo da Vinci yeah. bicycle. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. uh, him think one bicycle, okay? Mm-hmm. But it's not uh, true. He's uh, invent him. The yeah, Leonardo so somebody da... else s- yeah. sketched it, it's right? Mm-hmm. Sketch is uh, German people, mm-hmm. the first pen, no? Mm-hmm. And after him, design, and maybe is uh, another people too. But uh, anyway, it's... Uh, Wow. A lot of American coming uh, in this area. Thank you for sending me all of the... Uh, Do you like? I love them, yes. I have them in my house. They're incredibly beautiful. Uh, they broke when they... So I had to put them back together uh-huh. because the, the glue came undone. Okay. So I had to place all the pieces back together. It was like so many pieces. But I had fun doing it. Maybe also. in the future put the museum there. Yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, that's right. You wanted. That's right. Did, are you thinking about doing like Leonardo da Vinci museums in the U.S.? Uh, n- not yet, but I want to put a museum in in the U.S. If you have an opportunity. Okay. Why not? Okay. Well, I, I would definitely think about that because it would be a fun thing to do, and it would be fun to get the more people understanding. Yeah, yeah. Because I have a really, really. Because I work a lot of with the Get Your Guide, you know, with the application outside. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I buy a lot of tickets, USA, American people is coming a lot. I love this. Very, very yeah, great. it's amazing. It's totally so, And you have the best stuff. I went to the, the Leonardo da Vinci Museum in, his, uh, in Vinci. Yeah. In the, I went there where, him, uh, lived, where, he, was, yeah, where then, he was born and lived. Yeah. And then, you know, I've been to the ones in Florence as well, right? Um, but I like this one. And there are other ones here in the city as well, yeah, yeah. right? There's quite a few. There's yeah, one yeah. next to the large, uh, uh, the square. The square yeah, yeah. I but can't remember the name of it. This is Wiener. Mm-hmm. Do you know? But this is Wiener, the best museum in Italy for innovation. Really? Yeah. Wow. This one's so the best this one. This huh? is a, a good for us. Well, congratulations. Well, I have to go up because I'm going to go meet with the Pope. Okay. So oh, uh, <laughs> it's very pleasant to see you again. My pleasure to see you. And I hope to see you soon. Okay. okay? All the best. When see you soon, Augusto. Such a pleasure seeing you both. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good yeah. night. Ciao, ciao. Wow, well, that was special. I was totally shocked that they were able to find him and I got a chance to say hello to him. I guess I'm kind of a lucky guy. Um, anyway, so I've got a big event that I'm going to now and um, you know tomorrow is this big auspicious day um, because of two reasons one is really uh, uh oh 716 years later I'm getting knighted tomorrow Friday the 13th and then we all just heard about uh, one of the former leaders of Hamas basically saying that they're going to you know, call on everyone around the world to kind of do something or protest uh, related to the jihad. And my heart goes out to everybody involved in this conflict. It's definitely painful. Last night, I don't think I can remember having such a opening of my own heart. I wept for a couple of hours. It was very, very painful. I just felt the pain of the whole world on this. But I also feel like there's something cathartic happening now related to this that I think is is very important as well. I dropped my brochure here. Let me see if I can read all these comments real quick and put on my glasses. Okay. Okay, such a powerful chat, knighted, yes. Yes, indeed, creation comes from one source. That's cool, thank you for sharing. Um, I was just saying that tomorrow is gonna be an interesting day on many levels, obviously also related to this whole jihad thing. Um, But in addition, 716 years since the disbanding of the Knights Templar, and I just find it kind of an interesting synchronicity. Also, it ties back to, for those of you that's been following me for a long time, 137 
Um, tomorrow is 10, 13, uh, the seventh year, because it's 2023, so that's seven. So it's another 137, 10, 137. Okay, all of this because Robert trusted his inner voice to study all of this, even though it might have seemed crazy to people at first. Yes, definitely, even to me. <laughs> Not going to lie. Um, let's see. Synchronization. Pierce form of the master. Okay. Do you keep a database about yourself or a server rack, Robert? <laughs> yeah, I guess I probably do. I am excited. We're going to be launching a decentralized storage um, and a social media platform called Orion, which is meant to, and actually the whole purpose of it is to free our voices. It's the, the purpose of it is really about freeing the voice. Um, and it's about the throat chakra globally. Mankind's in a fallen state, only learning from the master. Will you learn man is in fallen state? Okay, can't trust anyone with a collar like that. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. That definitely sounds like someone judging a book by its cover. Uh, why is there water in the catacombs? Hmm. I don't know the question. I don't know the answer to that question. There's a lot of table water around, but next to the cells, there was literally water in there when I walked around in there. Okay. I think about watching you and experiencing it virtually. It's your joy and enthusiasm. Thank you for sharing. Share conversation with him. Please stay. Get all the world leaders to stay at the pyramid. I think you're right on that one. The time that spent the night there, probably in the stars. Yes, you're probably right about that. You know who else spent the night there and didn't really want to conquer anymore either? Was Alexander the Great. Uh, the museum in Florence behind the Uffizi on the river is also a brain stretcher. Yep, I've been there too before. I want to see your wrist. So sorry, sorry. My wrist. What about my wrist? Um... Don't understand that one. Uh, something is off with this guy. Mm. Must be something off with you <laughs> for you to say that about someone else. Uh, take you underneath. The knowledge spewing every minute. I can understand your English. That's good. Well, it is such a pleasure to spend the time with you guys here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, and uh, it's pretty getting pretty late in the evening here, seven o'clock. So I'm going to have to go in there now. But um, such a pleasure to see everyone. I hope that uh, that would be horrible. And um, I definitely hope as well that uh, that everyone has, uh, if they're traveling at this time, that you're safe, that you're happy, that your families are safe and happy. You know, life is short. It's time for us to all express love to everyone. And I think if there's one thing that we can do that could actually change the world, it is to be open about expressing our love all the time uh, to the people that we um, that are in our lives. Uh, I think that's so critical. And um, I, I really hope that we can all, you know, if the world is going to be looking at, you know, more terror, potentially, uh, the best thing we can do is to spread our love and to be consistent about that with everyone. Not just people that we know, but people we don't know as well. Um, and make sure that they understand that, uh, that we care and everybody matters. You know, when you understand that you live in a simulation, you can recognize as well that literally, when you live in such a simulation, every person you meet has the opportunity to teach you something. I can learn something from every single person I meet. And that's been my philosophy on life. And that's my philosophy up, to, up until now, and it will be continually my philosophy, because I'm a lover of life. And the best way to gain wisdom is to gain perspectives. You may not always agree with people's perspectives. You may not always align with what it is they're saying. That doesn't mean, though, that you have to dislike them or hate them. You can accept someone uh, without agreeing with all of their points. Uh, this seems to be something that we as humanity have had at different points in time and maybe lost uh, at different points in time. And I think we're kind of at this stage right now where we've probably found ourselves in another moment where we've lost it. I think the muscle that we have called empathy has become somewhat vestigial, but it's still there. It's like the appendix. We don't know exactly its purpose, but we still have it. And I think 
the best way for us to practice empathy is to put ourselves in another person's shoes and try to see the world from their perspective. It's one of the most powerful things you can do in consciousness, one of the most powerful things you can do in your own life and healing the difficulties and challenges that, that you may have garnered and, and collected along your journey. Love to everyone. Have a wonderful day.